Hi, my name is Amanda Jones, and in this video, I'm going to show you two different division algorithms. So I have our problem up here, 835 divided by 16. Um, I'm going to start with our standard division algorithm, set it up like you probably remember. Just a refresher and to be able to compare it with one that you may not have seen before with the, the um, partial quotients will be our other algorithm. All right, so I, I do know that 16 times 5 is 80. So, you know, you may have to kind of play off to the side 16 times 3, 16 times 4 to, to see what it might be. But, um, but we'll go ahead and get that 5 up there. 6 times 5 is 30. Here you can do your um, multiplication in this manner where you take your 6 times 5 and carry your 3 up here. And then 1 times 5 is 5 plus 3 is 8. Then we do subtraction. So what we're doing here is we are seeing how many times, um, how many, you know, hundreds, and we, there were none, there's no way, um, we don't have, we can't put 16 into 8, so it's not going to go in 100 times, okay? Um, and so we're seeing how many tens, you know, 16, like how many tens times 16 is going to go into 83 and there's five of them so this is kind of representing 50 okay so there's there's five tens times 16 that will go into the 83 all right so a little bit harder to explain with division but hopefully that makes a little bit of sense um, in, into what you're doing and how this algorithm is working and this is how many we got with five and then what's left over that we still need to be dividing into like how many ones, how many um, 16 times ones are going to go into into this, okay? So I do know that 16 times 2 is 32, so that's going to be nice. If you can do that multiplication, 6 times 2 is um, 12, okay? And then 1 times 2 plus 1. And then the subtraction here. We're going to use the, um, the remainder format here, so I'm just going to do 52R3 okay, for our answer, remainder format for our answer. All right, so 16 will go into 835 52 times with a remainder of 3, so 3 left over. Okay, let me show you a partial quotient, and it is a little bit more up to you. There's going to be different, um, it does set up the same way. There's going to be kind of different ways that each student can go about it, and that's what I really love about the partial quotient method is that you can start anywhere. Um, and so, what you're looking at is, you know, how many times do I think 16 can go into 835? And you're just trying something, okay? So, you can see that it definitely goes in once. So, you can even start with one. Okay, I don't recommend that. It will take you a long time. You'll do it 52 times. But start trying it. Does it go 10 times? Okay, it w that would be 160. Does it go 10? We can do that. Okay, let's do that. So let's say I know that 16 will go into 835 at least 10 times. I know it's going to be more. What I like about this is it's not a wasted attempt. So if I had put a 1 right here, I would have had to, I would have hit 16 and then subtracted and be, have been greater than 16 and know that I needed to start over. It was a wasted attempt, but with partial quotients, there's no wasted attempts unless you go over. So there's less wasted attempts, okay? So I know that 10 times 16 is 160. I know it's going to go in at least 10 times. I want to see what's left over after it goes in 10 times. So here's that subtraction. 13 minus 6, do your borrowing and carrying. I think it's so tempting to try to not write it down, but I think it's good so that you make less mistakes. Sometimes um, students are tricked into thinking that, you know, the, the less work you show, the smarter you are, and I definitely don't think that that's the case. So show your work and, and do what you need to do to get the problem right. All right, so so here we are. Now we're just putting 16 into 675. We're, we're left with this. We can do another 10 times or we can say, well, you know, that didn't get us very far. So maybe let's try 20. Okay, let's see if 16 will go into 675 20 times. 
And I know 16 times 2 is it's 32. That's not too bad to worry about. I'm just going to put a 0 at the end. And I know that that's going to be less than 675, so it's not going to be a wasted attempt. I'm going to get somewhere. Do the subtraction. All right, and then I can see that it'll go in another 20 times because I just did it and it was 320 and this is bigger than 320, so let's put it in another 20 times. And now we're at 35. Well, how many times will 16 go into 35? Well, I know 16 times two, it's 32. And there's my remainder of three. It is no longer going. And so what do I do with, with this? This is, this is written down to see what your multiplication was. So that at the end you can say, okay, it went 10 times plus 20 times plus 20 times plus two times. So it went in 52 times. 16 went into this value 52 times with a remainder of three. Okay, so that is some partial quotients and then a review of our standard algorithm with division. Thanks for watching. Bye.